Hello everyone, my name is Brad and welcome to Mediocre Models. In this video I'm going to show you how I would paint my uh, Japanese Special Navy Landing Force using contrast paints. Uh, here I have one already completed. Uh, you could also use this colour scheme for uh, Imperial Japanese Army officers as well. Uh, the model I'll be using is this one, he's been undercoated in Corax White. And for contrast paints, I'll be using Creed Camo, Skeleton Horde, Militarum Green, Gore Grunt of Fur, Snakebite Leather, Black Templar, and Dark Oath Flesh. Uh, and then for metallic areas, I have Lead Belt Char, and then I have Numb Oil and Agrax Earth Shade for Shades at the end. Uh, so I'll get set up with the first paint, and then we can begin. Now the first colour I'll be using is Creed Camo. And this will be for the main part of his uniform. So it'll be for his shirt and his pants. As well as his hat. Uh, you don't have to paint it this colour, you could also paint this uh, using Skeleton Horde. Um, putting this on, try to avoid uh, getting it onto his webbing and his uh, sort of uh, straps for his pants, as this will make going onto the next stages a little bit easier. Uh, but if you do get it on, it's no big worry. We can just go through with the Corax White and fix it up before we move on to the next colours. Uh, so I'll continue on and finish this off and once he's all dry we'll move on to the next colours. Uh, now that the Creed camo is almost fully dry the next colour I'll move on to will be Skeleton Horde and I will just use this to paint in these uh, little satchel earrings, little bread bag. And using this colour you could also paint in any of their helmets you could also use it to paint in the uh, straps across his back and across the front if you want, uh, but I'll do that in a leather colour. And you could also paint in his straps around his uh, legs as well, but I'll, I'll use a green for that one. Uh, so that'll be it for the skeleton horde. I'll let that dry and then we can move on to the next colour. While the skeleton horde is still drying, the next colour I'll move on to will be Militarum Green and using this I'll just paint in the straps on his legs. So I'll continue on and I'll finish this and let this dry and then we can move on to the next colour. Uh, with the Militarum Green, the dry, uh, the next colour I'll move on to will be Gorgrunt of Fur. And I'll use this to paint in any of their boots, as well as any of the sheaths for their bayonets. Uh, if any of them, or well, if this one had a leather strap for his rifle, I'd also paint in that, but I'll also paint in uh, all the leather straps for their belt and for their webbing as well. Putting it on, try and be careful. Make sure you don't get any on the uniform, but if you do, it's no big problem. You can just go back through with the Corax White and touch it up and go back with any of the other previous colors. I'll continue on, finish him off, and then once that's dry, we'll move on to the next colour. While the Gorgrunt of Fur is still drying a bit, the next colour I'll move on to will be Snakebite Leather, and I'll use this to paint in any wooden areas on the weapons. So for the rifle, it'll obviously be 
the main body of the rifle. Uh, but if you have any with the SMGs or LMGs, it'll be any wooden areas on those weapons. So I'll continue and finish this and let this dry and then we can move on to the next colour. While the snake bite leather is still drying a little bit, I'll move on to Black Templar uh, and I'll use this to paint in the handle of his bayonet. So for this particular model it's on his webbing, but on other ones they uh, might have it on their actual weapon. Uh, and while I have this out, I'll also paint in his hair. Uh, after I've finished using this, and once the rest of the model is dry, I'll go through with Corax White and fix up his skin, uh, and then we can move on to the last of the contrast paints. Uh, now that I've cleaned up his flesh with Corax White and it's dry, the next colour I'll move on to will be Dark Oath Flesh, and this will just be for all of his skin. Once I've finished applying this, and it's all dry, uh, we can move on to the metallics and then the shades at the end. So I'll let that dry and then we can move on to the metallics. Now that the Dark Earth Flesh is dry, the next colour I'll move on to will be Lead Belcher. Uh, and this will be for any metallic areas. So I like to paint my weapons, some metallic areas on my weapons. Uh, but otherwise, if you don't want to do that, the other metallic areas on the models will just be a clip on the front of his belt as well as any metallic areas on his webbing and equipment. If you have any with the little haps, just be a little symbol at the front as well. So I'll finish off all the metallic areas and let that dry, and then once that's dry, we can move on to the shades. Uh, now that the lead butcher is dry, uh, the first shade I'll move on to will be Non Oil. And this will just be a shade over all the metallic areas. So if you painted the weapons like I have, it'll just be a bit of metal on the weapons. Otherwise it'll just be the uh, metallic areas on these webbing and equipment. Uh, once this is all dry, we can move on to the final shade. Uh, now that the non-oil is all dry, I'll move on to the final shade, which is Agrax Earth Shade. This will just be a shade all over the model. This will just help dull down all the colours, tie them all in together. And it'll also give them a really dirty war-torn look. putting this on, try to avoid any major pooling, and if you've painted the weapons like I have, uh, try to avoid any of the major metallic areas.
So I'll let that dry and then once that's all dry we'll come back and take one final look at it. Uh, now that the Agrax Earthshade is almost fully dry now, there's still some parts in some of the darkest areas are still drying a little bit. And this is what he looks like. And as you can see, the shades really brought down all the colours, sort of helped tie them in together. It's also given them that really dirty war torn look. And the only thing left to do now is to finish off his base and it'll be all done. Um, when painting these uh, leather straps, I think I mentioned it before, um, you don't have to paint them this colour. You could paint them Skeleton Horde, uh, just to make them that sort of desert yellow colour, like that. Uh, another thing you could also do if you wanted them to be sort of lighter, more towards the white side, uh, you could paint them either Corax White or Wraithbone, uh, and then leave them that colour, and then... Uh, once you do your shade at the end, the Agrax Earth shade will tint it a little bit, but it'll be a much brighter colour. So yeah, that's how I'd paint my uh, special navy landing force or um, Japanese officers for the Imperial Army. So I hope that helps you, and I hope you like that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!